There we go. Checking connection. You are now live. All right, Instagram, we're live. All right, hope everyone has had a good week. I'm going to go ahead and just jump in. Sometimes I'll wait, um, but I'm just going to go ahead and jump in today. I hope you all have had a great week so far on this. Today's Tuesday. Um, today we're going to finish, go ahead and finish out uh, our reading in Colossians. We're going to finish out uh, chapter 3 and then go ahead and read through chapter 4. Because I'm kind of anxious to get into um, uh, Matthew, which is, I think, where we're going to go for the next uh, little bit, uh, for the next series. Um, it won't line up exactly with the next series. Um, we're doing questions Jesus asked for the next series. Uh, but it does refer a lot uh, to Matthew. Um, we've got one more week of Colossians. Um, we'll, we'll wrap it up next Sunday, and we'll have one more After Church podcast, so make sure you check those out. And all this we've done for the Colossians series is still going to be on the website at eastridge.church slash Colossians, so you can check out all those things there. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just get, get started. So uh, we're going to be in Colossians chapter 3. We're going to start in uh, with verse 18. All right, here we go. Wives, submit to your husbands as is fitting to the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children lest they become discouraged. Bond servants, obey in everything those who are earthly, your earthly masters, not by way of eye service as people pleasers, but with sincerity of heart, fearing the Lord. Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive and the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. For the wrongdoer will be paid back for the wrong he has done, and there is no partiality. Masters, treat your bond servants justly and fairly, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. And that was a one verse in chapter four there. Um, this is what we preached on. Kurt uh, preached on, and, and Gary as well at the South Campus preached on this past Sunday, so you can check out that message. They did a great job of diving into all that. There's a lot there, and what it all kind of came down to was submit yourself to the Lord um, at least what I got out of it. If you're submitting self to the Lord, then all these other things you'll be submitting in all these other areas that um, Paul is asking you to submit here. Um, so yeah, go check, go uh, back and check that out, and also check out the After Church podcast um, where they go a little bit deeper and they answer some of the discussion questions um, personally, not answering them for you, but they actually answer them how they um, um, pertain to them in their life. And that was Trey Bailey. Um, Stephanie Akiyama and Gary Thompson. Sorry, I was drawing a blank there for a second. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and finish out Colossians with chapter 4. And I had to look up a few of these names um, and write out how to pronounce them because I've never said these names before. So bear with me as I read them. All right, chapter 4. Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving, at the same time, pray for us that God may open us a door for the word to declare the mystery of Christ, on account of which I am in prison, that I may make it clear, which is how I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom towards, toward outsiders, making the best use of the time. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer each person. Tychicus, got that right, will tell you all about my activities. He is a beloved brother and faithful minister and fellow servant in the Lord. I have sent him to you for this very purpose, that you may know how we are and that we may encourage your hearts. And with him, uh, what did I say, Onesimus, there we go, our faithful and beloved brother, one uh, who is one of you. They will tell you of everything that has taken place here. 
Um, Aristarchus, I think I got that right. There we go. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you, and Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, um, continuing whom you have received instructions. If he comes to you, welcome him. And Jesus, who is called Justice, these are the only men of the circumcision among my fellow workers for the kingdom of God, and they have been a comfort to me. Epaphras, one is one of you, a servant of Christ Jesus, greets you always, struggling on your behalf in his prayers that you may stand mature and fully assured in all the will of God. For I bear him witness that he has worked hard for you and for those in Laodicea and in Heropolis. Luke, the beloved physician, greets you, as does Demas, giving my greeting to the brothers at Laodicea and Nympha and the church in her house. And when this letter has been read among you, have it also read in the church of La- the Laodiceans, and see that you also read the letter from Laodicea, and say to Archippus, yep, Archippus, see that you fulfill the ministry that you have received in the Lord. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand. Remember my chains. Grace be with you. Okay, and that um, wraps up our study in Colossians. Like I said before, if you're Uh, just tuning in, um, you can go back and check out all the messages in Colossians um, and all the After Church podcasts. Um, Those are great, um, the the podcasts, you can watch them or listen, and you can go back with a small group or in your family and do that. Um, Like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to jump into uh, Matthew next Tuesday, start diving into that. It's a 28-chapter book. So we'll, we'll, I'll divide that up as best as I can over, I think, about nine weeks is what our next series is. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, this has been great for me. I don't read the Bible as much as I should. So this series has really shown me that we can break it up, that I can break it up. Um, and I may not understand what it's saying, but there's something about just reading. Um, and then when I show up on Sunday, it makes a little bit more sense to me. Um, And if I have questions, I can reach out um, to the pastors at Eastridge um, to try to figure out what all this is saying. But the Bible is not so intimidating as it was just five, six weeks ago to me. So I'm growing in that way. I hope you are too. One of the big things that we wanted to start doing with this series is um, start reading the Bible more, uh, reading together, encouraging you to read. And we're not going to stop. We're going to keep on um, doing that. So... Thanks for joining um, tonight. I hope this has blessed you in some way. And just uh, keep on diving in. All right, guys, you'll have a great night. I'll see you next Tuesday.